Hi, and welcome to this B1UP tips and tricks session. Today we will not show you anything in Business One, but more talk about the dynamic syntax and the special keywords we have in there. So let's jump in instead to Business One, but to the B1UP help. So help.bymit.com slash B1UP or just help.bymit.com and you can get to there. So in here we have the keywords and dynamic syntax, and it's down all down in this appendix one. So the syntax, as we talk about, of course, is the item syntax and the table syntax. So the item syntax is the dollar sign, square bracket, dollar sign, item UID, column UID, and data type. And the table is table name, field name, and then data type can technically also be put here but very, very rare that people do it. So let's quickly take a lightning course on dynamic syntax and then look into some of the more advanced keywords that also can be done. So if you are totally unaware about this, go read this page. This will tell you exactly how it works and how you get information from the syntax. So it's as Item UID, column UID, and type. And column UID is, of course, only when you are on line level. So you get it from system information. And you have uh, the most thing you need to know about is the dot type, where you can either write string or zero, meaning just as a string, number as a decimal number, date as a date in this format, which is very important that it always is year month, day, feels like uh, data where there is uh, a combined number and, um, and currency can also be taken and number and currency in general in, in our system does the same thing. Actually, it's because of mistake I made back in 2017, misunderstanding dot currency. I thought that the number was an integers, and dot currency was decimal numbers. Uh, that was a mistake. So essentially, they do the same inside our system. So this will talk about a lot about how this works. There's also a mention about something called the dot row syntax, which will go to a video about that. Uh, which is very, very beneficial when you go and uh, work on line level. But see that video separately if need be. Table syntax, similar system, uh, where you can get to the fields without having a specific item. And that also means you can get the information from the sidebar uh, using the table syntax. Again, it is common that you don't write the dot zero, it's optional because it, by looking into the database, it can, of course, check what the, 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 the field's type is anyway. If you have BS, there's a specific BS uh, keyword as well. So if you need to get information from a BS screen, you write dollar times square bracket BS colon, and then the field of the BS uh, field. Uh, you need to understand BS syntax uh, and there you can go to the BS help page in order to check that out. And then we come to the special keywords. Most of them are something we have invented, but there was a few from SAP as well. So there's the user keyword, which actually gives us the ID of the user. So not manage your bill and so on. It is actually one, two, three. So it's an ID that is used against the user sign, for example. And there's the period, which is the current posting period uh, ID, just so we have those keywords. Then we have a lot of keywords like username, so that is manager, bill, so on. The database name, the localization, is it a Canadian uh, system, is it a US system, is it a, a UK system, and so on. Company name, server name, server date, server time, system ID, Installation ID from your license. Q and pain, which just gives you back the pain level of the system. Q and language, what uh, you're running inside Business One. 
Then there's the new ID, which is in the, enables you to get the doc entry from newly added documents like invoice, for example. And again, there's a separate video on that. Um, then there's row. So if it happens on a row level, you can actually get what row it was. Attachment folder, bitmap folder, word folder. So if you need to put something into those folders, SAP have. The branch, if you're using branching in business one, the branch code and the name. Then we have BOY table, uh, which gives you back the primary table of the screen you're on. So if you write this, it will give you OINV in an invoice, in an order it will ORDR. Some people combine this in order to make their configurations uh, work across multiple screens. Table identifier will just give you the same without the O, so INV, so you can put INV1, INV2, and so on. Then there's a line count with item, so you can get how many items there are in a matrix or grid. So as an example, if you have a custom validation that says if the customer buys over 10, 10 different things, you should, get a, you should get a free extra item or something like that. Current form type will give you back what the form type is of the screen. So if you're a business partner, it's 134. If it's a, you're on a sales order, it's 139 and so on. And then there's current item, current column, current row, and current form title, where you can get the information about what happened, what which item was it that triggered that event and so on. And then there is a is row selected that can go in and check if, it's, if a row is selected or, or not. And then we have some date keywords. So many times you need to do something with dates. Uh, and instead of needing to go, go and write some SQL saying, what was the first day of the last quarter and so on, we just have these uh, date keywords that you can put in, like today, same day last year, uh, next year, and so on and so forth. So lots of date keywords. So if you need to enter dates, go have a look at these uh, in order to, to go down. So these are the, the different keywords. There's a few others like new line when you make a macro and you want to make a line uh, break. So you can write this. And beyond that, print and delivery also have its own keywords that you can see in here, like object name, BP object name, and so on. That is more linked to uh, sending out the print and delivery and, and so on. So that is all the keywords. And again, your entry point is directly into the appendix. And if you're very new to business one, learn dynamic syntax, you will use it all over the place. and in almost all fields across B1 Up, you can also use them. So with that, thank you for attending, and I hope it was beneficial.